Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Vishal, Department of Radio Diagnosis from Mysore Medical College. I'd like to thank the Indian Radiologist for giving me this online platform for presentation on the topic Diagnostic Performance of Elast-PQ Point Shear Wave Elastography for Hepatic Fibrosis in Hepatitis B and Hepatitis C patients. Introduction. Chronic viral hepatitis is a condition of hepatotropic viral infection associated with chronic inflammation, hepatocyte injury, and progressive fibrosis. Non-invasive assessment of liver fibrosis in chronic hepatitis B and C patients using liver elastography has been increasing and used instead of liver biopsy. Aims and objectives. The aim of this study is to assess the diagnostic performance of elast EQ point shear wave elastography with liver biopsy as the gold standard and comparing these results with other serum fibrosis markers namely aspartate to platelet ratio index, that is APRI, and fibrosis 4 score, FIB4. Materials and methods. A cross-sectional study was carried out in which 73 patients underwent elast PQ, PSWB, and HPE with metaverse scoring system and staging. Serum fibrosis in indices including APRI and FIB4 values were calculated. The diagnostic performance of elast PQ, PSWB, APRI, and FIB4 was evaluated using area and receiver operating characteristic curve analysis, that is AUROC analysis, correlations of elast PQ, PSWB, APRI, and FIB4 ratio index with histopathological findings were determined using Spearman's correlation coefficient. Well, this is the AUROC curve analysis for elast PQ, SWB for different stages of fibrosis. Uh, we can see that uh, mild fibrosis is F1, significant fibrosis F2. Advanced fibrosis F3 and cirrhosis is F4. And we can see the p-values for all the four. Uh, p-value is less than 0 0.0001 for F1, F3, and F4. That is uh, suggestive that it is strongly significant. Uh, this is the comparison of the AUROC curve analysis uh, for ELAS-PQ shear wave elastography, APRI, and FIB4. Uh, these are the ultrasound images. Uh, by which the elast elastography score was acquired. And we can see that the elastography show, uh, score is show, uh, shown in the left bottom of both the images. Uh, these were determined using the uh, elast-PQ point shear wave elastography uh, for a patient of chronic hepatitis B with AST value of 37 and ELT value of 41. Uh, the elastography score was 12.8 uh, kilopascal. And this was corresponding to cirrhosis, which was confirmed by liver biopsy. Discussion. In the present study, the diagnostic performance of elast PQ uh, shear wave elastography for assessing he hepatic fibrosis was analyzed in 73 patients with hepatitis B and C infections. Uh, in this study, there was significant positive correlation between different stages of liver fibrosis determined by liver biopsy and liver stiffness detected by the elast PQ point shear wave elastography with R value 0.912 and P value less than 0 0.0001 that is strongly significant. In the present study, elast PQ point shear wave elastography showed high negative predictive value and specificity in staging liver fibrosis in hepatitis B and C patients for mild fibrosis, significant fibrosis, advanced fibrosis, and cirrhosis. Hence, elast PQ point shear wave elastography can be considered as a screening test and can be used in daily practice. Uh, also, in this study, the diagnostic performances of elast PQ, PSWB, APRI, and FIB4 have been compared for liver fibrosis staging. Elast PQ PSWB exhibited higher diagnostic accuracy than the APRI and FIB4. Another important point for everyday newly developed technique is to establish the cutoff values that should be used to differentiate between stages of fibrosis. In present study, AUROC curve was used to know the optimal cutoff values of liver stiffness measurements by ELAS PQ PSWB to differentiate different stages of fibrosis. The limitations were that firstly, the sample size is small. Secondly, liver biopsy was used as a gold standard, which can show sampling variability, and there can be a lack of precise correlation between the site of ultrasound liver stiffness measurements and site of tissue biopsy, which can influence on study results. Conclusion, ELAS-PQ PSWB is a promising non-invasive method for the evaluation of liver fibrosis with high diagnostic performance, high negative predictive value, and high specificity, which can be used in day-to-day -day practice for treatment and follow-up of patients with hepatitis B and C infection. Since ELAS-PQ PSWB technique is integrated into USC machines, it can be an easily available, economically feasible alternative to liver biopsy in patients with hepatitis B and C infection for treatment and follow-up, which can make an important impact medically. Thank you.